hello in this part we'll be doing some minor uh, graphics improvements and the first uh, thing we want to fix is this blurring of the wood texture when viewing on some oblique angle uh, and this can be fixed with uh, by enabling by enabling the uh, anisotropic filtering setting in 3ds max so we can just go to the our wood original uh, material select the bitmap and uh, below on the reverse 3d texture params uh, panel change an isotropic filtering to something like 8 and see how it looks and it appears to be looking much sharper as compared to to the variant without these settings so this is the first thing we wanted to fix and the second thing is that our uh, we notice that uh, the environment sphere that we are using is appears to be view dependent it changes uh, because it is shaded it uh, the background changes while we are rotating the scene uh, this can be okay actually but I can show you how to get rid of this effect and in order to do this let's uh, return to 3ds max and check what material we get for the sphere uh, we could get rid of the uh, view dependency of this dependency on from the view, camera view by just enabling emission so that it are uh, becomes are uh, not shaded so let's check it something like this uh, but the problem with this approach is that uh, our shadows are gone uh, this is because it is uh, basically not lit so let's uh, do the following trick we will be using our a texture uh, which we can copy from the our starter files uh, which is uh, located in the uh, here so the ground mask and basically we'll be using this ground mask to mix two materials one is uh, the material that we are using now and an emission material and mixes uh, mix them according to this max so that near the model we got shadows and far from the model we got uh, full emission so that uh, the sphere is not lit uh, on the sides so let's copy this texture from the starter files to our application folder and use it for blending these materials so uh, we'll be using blend material um, delete standard materials we'll be using physical materials so uh, the one will be our current material shaded material and uh, another material which we'll be using uh, will have uh, emission its emission set to maximum and we want it to be not that 
bright so let's lower it uh, emission uh, color and we'll be using the texture which we just copied for mixing are uh, these two materials so let's just select the our texture which we copied so it's once again go to the application folder and select ground mask open and use it as a mask so now let's assign uh, the blend material to the sphere instead of this material so let's assign it click assign and let's check uh, so yeah we got uh, reflections here which we don't want let's disable uh, let's make roughness one we also maybe just lower um, let's just check it okay so it's not reflecting now and we want uh, probably we want this uh, no, to be not that bright so once again go to our mission color and fix it so this is nicely blended uh, we got uh, an additional smoothing effect for the shadows because of this mask which is also good so uh, I guess this uh, this is uh, uh, this spot is from the light source so we can probably tweak it but I like it uh, as it is so this is pretty it with the graphics improvements um, in this part let's export it GLTF replace and try our application it's in its final form so let's for example check that uh, the sharpness of the textures persists when we uh, load a new, a new texture yes uh, this is because the loaded textures uh, inherit the settings which are set on the original bitmap so this is okay everything works and um, let's continue with uh, improvements let's uh, set the camera in the next part see you later